Hello, I'm here to talk to you guys about how legislation banning same-sex marriage is unconstitutional. Contention 1, subpoint A. Gay equality is of highest importance to the public. President Obama's speech, 2009. That is the story of the movement for fairness and equality, and not just for those who are gay, but for all of those in our history who have been denied their rights and responsibilities of citizenship for all who have been told that the full blessings and opportunities of this country were closed to them. For even as we face extraordinary challenges as a nation, we cannot and we will not put aside issues of basic equality. For while some may wish to define you solely by your sexual orientation or gender identity alone, you know, and I know, that none of us wants to be defined by just one part of what makes us whole. Subpoint B. Prop 8 creates inequality in marriage. Robert A. Levy, chairman of CATO, 2010. The Perry case was brought by two couples whose relationships are marked by the sort of love, commitment, and respect that leads naturally to marriage. Chris Perry and Sandy Steer and their four children ask for no more and deserve no less than the equal rights accorded to every other American family but they are blocked from obtaining marriage licenses under California's Proposition 8. Subpoint C. The Declaration states that all men are created equal. John D. Podesta, President of the Center for American Progress, 2010. As the country evolved, the meaning of one small word, all, has evolved. Our nation's founder reaffirmed the Declaration of Independence, the self-evident truth that all men are created equal. And our Pledge of Allegiance concludes with the simple and definite words, liberty and justice for all. Still, we have struggled mightily since our independence, often through our courts, to ensure the liberty and justice is truly available to all Americans. Subpoint D. Proposition 8 isn't constitutional because of the effect on same-sex couples. Chris Rovzer, Senior Editor for Online at New York Magazine, 2010. U.S. District Judge Vaughn Walker ruled on Wednesday that the California's Proposition 8 ballot initiative denying marriage rights to the same-sex couples was unconstitutional in a case that will almost certainly go all the way to the Supreme Court. Walker ruled that Proposition 8 is unconstitutional under both the Due Process and Equal Protection Clauses. Contention 2. Subpoint A. The Ninth U.S. Circus Circuit Court appeals Judge Vaughn Walker's decision. Rex Wachner, reporter on Gay and Lesbian Press, 2011. In a case brought by the American Foundation for Equal Rights, represented by famous attorneys Ted Olson and David Boise in a federal and district court struck down on Prop 8 last summer and issued an injunction bearing its further enforcement. However, the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals suspended the injunction and the people who had put Prop 8 on the ballot appealed District Judge Von Walker's decision. Contention 3. Subpoint A. The answer to Prop 8 is repealing DOMA. Glenn Greenwald, lawyer and author, 2008. Repealing Section 3 of DOMA, even if one left Section 2 in place, would enable the granting of federal rights to the same-sex couples without having any effect on the definition of marriage. All of DOMA should be repealed, but repealing Section 3 is without a question a politically palatable compromise. Subpoint B. Repealing DOMA is a step in the right direction. Jamar Osborne, Degree in Political Science and Law, 2011. If DOMA is repealed, the federal government and every state in the union would have to recognize same-sex marriage performed in other states. This would put power back in the hands of states and away from the federal government Repealing DOMA would indirectly allow for national recognition of same-sex marriages without any of the political backlash for supporting gay marriage directly. I am now open for cross-examination. So, Hillary, in subpoint B of your first contention, you say that Prop 8 is unconstitutional? Yes and that repealing DOMA would be a step in the right direction toward to answering Proposition 8? Yes. 
Would repealing DOMA actually legalize same-sex marriage in California? Not directly, but it would certainly help. Well, isn't Prop 8 just an exercise of California's right to vote on the decision? Yes, it is. So wouldn't Prop 8 and DOMA be working together to promote states' rights? Just because the states have the right to create their own laws and enforce them doesn't mean they always are un or right. Okay, so it's more of a moral issue than a legal issue. Yes. Now we'll hear from the first negative constructive. Well, I'm the first negative speaker, and <clears throat> we don't believe that the same sex marriage is violates constitution. First, I will start with the traditional marriage is the foundation of society, and has served our state well for centuries. California in constitutional marriage amendment exists to strengthen society, encourage monogamous and loving marriage, and to provide optimal environment to ensure the well-being of children. Thirty other states, including California, have voted on this issue, and every single one decided against legal same-sex marriage. In, instead of how traditional marriage California has voted on the issue twice, and the people's voice has been resounding. Marriage is between one man and one woman. Marriage is the uni union of a man and a woman. According to Mountain New Stewart President, Marriage Law Foundation, these are not the only social goods produced by the marriage institution, but they are the relevant ones for purposes of adjudicating the marriage issue. They are relevant because they are the social goods produced uniquely by the man and woman meaning. And that must therefore disappear when that meaning is the institutionalized. In contemporary America, the man and woman meaning has not been the institutionalized by broad social trends anywhere. And only in Massachusetts has the court by legal mandate attempt to perform that task. The union of a man and a woman continues as a widely shared, public, and community constitution of the marriage institution across the nation. Please to go to my opponent's point B. We believe that Pro 8 doesn't take away rights or benefits. Ron Prentice, President of California Family Council. Proposition 8 is about preserving marriage. It's not an attack on gay lifestyle. Proposition 8 doesn't take away any rights or benefits of gay or lesbian domestic partnerships. Under California law, domestic partners still have the same rights, protections, and benefits as marriage partners. There's no exception. Proposition 8 did not change this. And please go to my opponent's contention one step on C. DOMA promotes state rights and DOMA protects marriage and rights of all states. Thompson Lewis, academic search premier, the House Committee on Judiciary set forth two primary purposes for DOMA. To defend the institution of traditional heterosexual marriage and number two, protect the rights of states to formulate their own public policy regarding the legal recognition of same-sex unions free from any federal constitutional implications that might attend the recognition by one state to, of the right for homosexual couples to acquire, acquire marriage license. Public Law 104 to 199 DOMA's enacting legislation further states that DOMA is an act to defy and protect the institution of marriage. Essentially, DOMA was enacted to prevent one state recognition of same-sex marriage from forcing recognition of said marriage on other states through the full threat and dreaded clause of the United States Constitution. DOMA is preventing post has homosexual marriage up on their ongoing population. Peter Sprig, 
Vice President of Policy, Family Resource Council. Two state courts.